Hey. What's up? Battery bar is blinking. You guys see that? Start pedaling. Start pedaling. All right, this is what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, dude. But I've been on so many e-bikes that the quality isn't there for me. And I got on the Kepler a little bit. I did not like the quality of it. I felt like it just felt cheap to me. We're back on the Zeus. And uh, the reason we're technically on this bike with three battery bars instead of the five is because I want to do a test. The last video we did on my first impressions, this bike is not hitting no 33 miles per hour. I actually feel like we're going pretty slow, but I mean, I'm, I'm really down on a charge. Um, I was seeing like two battery bars when we got to the house, but it kind of went up since, uh, you know, the battery set for a little bit and I'm pretty sure it's going to go down very soon, but hopefully you guys can see the display now. We don't have that, uh, plastic on it anymore. And, uh, yeah, so we're sitting solid at 26. The speed is pretty accurate and I'm just curious if this is what I want to do. So when I get to work, I'm going to put it directly on the charger. We have so far 20 miles on the bike i think i had three miles on it before i fully charged it so technically like 17 miles on this uh battery we're see we're down to two battery bars now that's the last time i've charged it now we're supposed to get roughly what are we supposed to get like 30 miles of range something like that that's interesting i'm hoping what's gonna happen is we're gonna get to work the bike's going to be completely dead and then I'm going to give it a full fresh charge. It's going to be fully charged when I get off of work. We're going to see if we can hit over 29 or 30 miles an hour. I have barely seen it hit 30 miles an hour on a flat ground, but we're normally sitting at about 29.5. That's what my GPS says. And I'm really hoping that once these cells kind of uh, balance out and everything, don't hit me, please. Don't hit me. Thanks. That, um, they're gonna maybe give us a little bit more uh, top speed because once the cells in your battery start uh, balancing out, they run more efficient and we should get a better top speed. I don't know. It's just kind of a hunch I have. I'm not 100% sure if that's like accurate or not. I have no idea, but we'll see. down the one battery bar which is uh it's not good <laughs> we'll go this way real quick i'm a little worried that we're down the one battery bar i was told on this bike which i'm getting a little bit more comfortable with uh turning and everything but i was told that this bike's uh last battery bar has to flash so uh once it starts flashing then we might be in some trouble and uh, someone's calling me right now but i don't have the time to pick it up i'll have to get to it later i'm thinking we might have to uh take a shortcut on this bike to get to work going over two overpasses getting to work might not be ideal so uh maybe we might have to uh <laughs> take a shortcut so we only go over one overpass because i still got about five miles to go well Depending on how long that train is, we're going to see if uh, that's going to be an option or not. Because I'm going to have to jump over some railroad tracks. The train's long, it's not happening. Alright, let's move on to another topic real quick. I got some mods for this bike. Uh, one thing, well, actually the biggest thing. $200 mod, I uh, went on Amazon and I looked for a uh, controller for this bike. So I did some measurements. I didn't fully actually measure the stock controller. I didn't even take the stock controller out of this bike. Um, all I wanted to do was kind of uh, measure the side of it, kind of see like underneath, like, hey, is this, is this maybe gonna fit with maybe some zip ties or small modifications? I wanted a controller that was gonna sit underneath this, uh, this seat in the back where the stock wheel goes because I want to keep the stock look and I want to go to a bigger battery. Now I haven't bought a bigger battery yet because I don't know the, the plan, 
I try to hit up Power Lithium to see if maybe they can work on a uh, 24 or 25 amp hour 52 volt battery for me that um, uses 21700 cells and has maybe a BMS of, I don't know, like 60 or 80. And then the controller that I got is 45 amps. So right now the controller that's on this bike is 28 amps plus or minus one amp. So that means we're gonna be jumping up pretty high. And I'm also hoping with getting another controller, we can unlock the speed and, you know, change some stuff and whatnot. I'm not 100% sure yet, but uh, we ordered it, 200 bucks, that's coming. I also got some uh, lights on these uh, wheels that I wanna show you guys later. So um, hopefully at nighttime, is gonna be some really cool footage. I also got a bar in mirror that I have not had time to put on the bike just yet. So we'll have to do that one of these days. All right, this is what I was talking about. Wasn't really planning on going off road, but uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see if this bike's easy to. Oh yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. This bike is so light. Uh, oh, <laughs> ow! <laughs> I scraped up my the back of my leg somehow. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna have to go way around. What the heck? Oh, someone's a uh, sweater. Interesting. Oh, the OGs remember, this is how I'd come to work for like two years doing e-bike videos and YouTube. And then they uh, decided to block it off for some reason. Uh, can you even tell me why it's blocked off? It doesn't make any sense, nothing going on. Oh man, how did I mess up the back of my leg? <laughs> oh my God. If I was like 18 again, that wouldn't have hurt as bad, but somehow I scraped up the back somehow. Um, I also got grips coming for this bike. I got white grips with black ends. Um, and I also bought white wall tires. I think we're doing 26 by three inches wide. I think these ones are 2.3. I'm going to a three inch wide tire. So we'll see how that fits. Um, pegs in the back. The pegs are blue, which is pretty cool. Um, they're like a light blue. They're the ones that have like the, I don't know, it's like a peg with like the plastic cover on it or something like that. They're made for grinding. I'm not going to grind this bike or nothing, but uh, just they look cool. And they seem like they match the bike decently well. Holy crap, I felt like I almost went down right now turning and all that debris. These tires just almost wanted to slip out. I'm not the, uh, the biggest fan of these tires. I'm really hoping the other ones are uh, a little bit better. There was tons of options I was looking at. I was honestly thinking about going to a, a slimmer tire. So if for whatever reason, once we figure out our top speed, before we even do the controller, the controller is going to take like probably almost a month to come in because it's coming from China, even though it was from Amazon. It's a company from China. So it literally said like the end of February or mid February, somewhere around there. And um, I'm wondering if those tires are going to change our top speed so we'll get a top speed measure after we you know get some more miles on this bike and see if we hit anything after today's video and then uh have a baseline and then when i switch out the tires we'll see if we lose speed because they're going to be wider and they're going to be heavier so we'll just have to see on that but i'm pretty sure you guys can tell by me taking this bike that uh, i love it it's pretty fun it's not no Suron or onyx it's not that fast but uh just the styling of it but i feel like if we can get this bike to roughly 38 to 40 miles like per hour that's <laughs> that's where the excitement comes in like this bike should not be doing no 50 60 miles an hour uh I was talking to a guy on facebook he has a 72 volt one and honestly badass you know oh shit let's go up this way um like hella badass i'm jealous I'm definitely not gonna you know do that with this bike i'm gonna just keep it 52 volt keep it standard i don't know why that car stopped it was still green man someone's burnt oil jesus something happened to someone's car they probably broke an oil pan or something you guys see all that but anyways yes 40 miles an hour would be the goal i just don't know if that's gonna happen on a 52 volt system but 
I mean, hey, if I can at least hit 35, because I was expecting 33 miles an hour out of this bike, like legit 33 miles an hour, not what the display says or anything like that, like straight up GPS, um, I think I'll be happy. Oh God, our battery bar, it's blinking. Battery bar is blinking, you guys see that? Oh damn, okay, so that's what it looks like. So I'm kind of glad I know what that is, but now I'm also a little worried. Start pedaling, start pedaling. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh well and the good thing is honestly this is a very light bike i don't know how it is to pedal this bike if it's completely dead um i don't think it's gonna be too bad it's not gonna be like bmx nice um like light and all that stuff it's like 60 something pounds but it's still gonna be better than probably any other bike i'm just wondering how the chain ring is like the chain ring size matters on if you're gonna pedal a bike or not so i don't know that yet but i really don't want to find out I'm pretty sure no one that owns an electric bike wants to find out how it is to pedal their electric bike home. I've had to do it a few times and I'll tell you, it's not fun. We made it. A little scary, but we made it. Yeah, let's uh, get this bike on the charger and then stick around for some more videos. Subscribe to the channel because I also want to do that video where we uh, just put some mods on this bike. It's going to be a little short video in the garage. Hey, what's that? Whoo, yeah. All right, I'll see you guys at nighttime when I get to show you these uh, these cool lights. They look pretty sick. Well, let's check this out. I'll give you a little, a little preview. Oh, wait, how am I gonna do this? There you go. All right, see you a bit. All right, just like that, it's nighttime. We got the lights on the wheels. Those are gonna look sick. They they have some like cool patterns to them as they're moving and they automatically come on as soon as you're like done. It's pretty cool. Got the headlight up here. I also have some other lights that I wanna turn on. So I have, if you guys can see this, probably not the best angle, but I have this one that's gonna flash. I also have this one down here. The cool thing is all these wrap around. Now I got tons and tons of lights. So we got the main brake light, which uh, I didn't turn these headlights on yet. So let me turn those on. So now we have the, the rear brake light. We got everything going on. So let's see how this is. The one thing I'm most excited for is seeing if our top speed changed because we have a full charge. It's actually the first time I've ever charged a bike at work since I upgraded my Suron battery, like how long ago? So I'm just curious to see if anything has changed. Let me get this light adjusted just a little bit. Um, one thing that I've noticed is when I free spin the bike, the back tire, it's, uh, it hits like 35 miles per hour with no one on it. And I've seen other people post up that they do 39 with no one on it, which makes sense that you would hit probably like 34 or something. Hey man, that cop trying to blow that red light could ram me over. Let me go get him. All right, so this is the true test. If you guys can see that display, we definitely can see so much more on the road line. This is like fantastic. The only bad thing is I need to put more tape on the bars because even with the, the spacer and stuff like that, that comes on this light, this bar in the middle is very uh, small. So hey, 31 miles per hour. That's actually the first time I've hit over 30. Like legit, I haven't changed anything since we're riding we're coming up a hill real quick. But uh, can you guys see the, the lights on the wheels too? Look at that. Sick, huh? That is dope. That looks badass. And obviously we got the lights shining underneath. Hopefully uh, we don't get a uh, ticket or nothing. I mean, cop can't say anything. He was already blowing through the light anyway. But yeah, so they kind of flash like red, blue, purple. I don't know like if we'll get pulled over or not for it. <laughs> But it's always good to have some lights on your bike. This is, this is dope. This is dope. So 33 miles per hour, which is 100% legit. What the heck? Why is this sitting here? That's interesting. That is like so weird that uh, there's a random thing sitting there. I don't think that was there when we came to work. But actually, never mind. We didn't even take this way. That's right. Yesterday, we took this way, and that wasn't here. And in the other video, I did. 
when we did not have a light on this bike at all. But look how much better this is. Like I said, I just need to put tape on this because it's going to keep falling down, but what a night and day difference. And uh, now I'm back to 30 miles per hour, unfortunately. <laughs> It is what it is. Let me see if uh, randomly take these lights off. Does it give us any more power? No, nothing. I lost a little bit of uh, light in the front, like the little little corners I noticed. Ow, oh God, hold on. I just went through a bunch of bugs right now. Wow, just smacking me right in the head. I don't have my phone mounted up here. There's a cat right here in the corner, I see him. Uh, he's right in here. Oh, don't take your hands off the bike. I uh, haven't mounted my phone up here yet because I'm not exactly sure how I want to have this set up. Um, if everything works with the controller that I ordered for this bike, once it comes in a month or whatever, how long ever it's going to take, I don't know. If it comes any earlier, great. I can start test fitting it. But um, the new display would sit like way down here. So that would be pretty cool. And then we'll get rid of this display up here and we won't have to worry about this. And I can put like my phone up here or I can move the throttle over here. I'll probably keep the throttle on the right side because that's kind of how I like it. Um, we also have to order a new throttle. All right, I'm going, I'm going. But throttles are cheap. They're like 20 bucks um, because I think we need one with, oh, with a three pin connector. It's not the... Um, like what are they the connectors called like the hypo connectors like the waterproof connectors it's like the it looks like a three pin pc fan connector that's what that controller runs off of maybe there's an adapter to go from you know this throttle to that but i'd rather just buy a new throttle like why not um what else what else i can't really think of anything else i'm just when that kit comes in uh i'll try to just hook it up i'll disconnect the battery from the stock controller and then we'll just see if it uh, works and turns on the bike and spins the motor as is. We might have to do a little bit of fine tuning. And uh, maybe we'll like keep it at like 30 amps just to kind of see if it runs. And if it does, then we'll, we'll take this old controller off and we'll fit the other one in there. Even if I have to zip tie it somehow and have it ghetto, um, I'm hoping it really like fits underneath there like really nice. And if it doesn't, we'll just rock it for the time being. But uh, I'm trying to keep this bike as stock as possible. Someone did tell me uh, this stock battery has a fuse in it and the fuse I believe is rated at 40. That's what they told me. I'm not exactly how sure that is. I haven't taken this battery apart. They said if you want to push the max 45 amps that the new controller I have will push, then you have to um, change the fuse in the battery. Now obviously changing the fuse in the battery is probably not the best idea because you can cause a fire if there's too much heat. Uh, that obviously like that's for i don't know exactly what that fuse is for it's like to protect like the circuit just in case there's like a spark or something happened it will basically save your battery and um it's really good to have that on there so that's not something i really want to change so if anything maybe we would have to dial the controller back to like i don't know 39 or 38 amps but i'm just hoping it works i'm really hoping it works it literally comes with the um it doesn't come with the throttle i'm sorry it comes with a display and then it comes with um, the distribution block to hook up the wires from the rear motor to this. And that's honestly like really all you need to get the bike running. That's seriously all you need. And all the other wires are like if you hook an alarm system or a headlight or any other thing. And we're not going to be doing all that. All the other wires can technically be cut off for all I care to save some space. And for whatever reason, that controller does not sit underneath the seat we'll get one of those uh black burn bags which go like underneath the stock battery and we'll throw it in there and then we'll have the wires come up the tube and then connect to the battery and the motor that's gonna be the setup which i have one that i took off my uh super 73 once we did the crazy ass mods to it i took off my uh my water bottle holder i took off the what the hell is that some clothes and I took off the black burn bag because we had no room for it doing the 72 volt system. And again, I'm still waiting for the battery for that. I don't know. I didn't actually ask them to, for a time frame on that. Oh, let's go down a little bit more. I actually should have asked them for a time frame, and I kind of messed up and totally forgot. Um, I tried to hit them up about the battery on the Zeus to see if they can make me one. 
and what the time frame is looking for that and uh, just waiting for a reply but all right enough of the zeus it doesn't look like we got any more top speed honestly we got one mile per hour for i don't know what was that like 10 seconds maybe 15 seconds and then it's gone like we're not hitting that no more but let's start talking about the aerial rider kepler just real quick towards the end and uh, that's the fact that i don't know if the company is like this to everybody or maybe they just hate me because when i had the grizzly i wasn't nice about it the grizzly had a lot of power but the grizzly was so touch sensitive on the throttle i hated it i hated the seating position i hated the bars it just i felt like the bike needed so many more mods to like feel better and to each their own i know a lot of people like the grizzly and it's fast as shit like that's what it has going for it the dual batteries and the power that's what you're basically buying a grizzly for but i've been on so many e-bikes that the quality isn't there for me and i got on the kepler a little bit i did not like the quality of it i felt like it just felt cheap to me i don't know that's that's honestly just like my opinion it literally like felt cheap But I will say the power of the Kepler, it's there. It's 100% there. It's fast. It's way faster than this thing. And if I had to compare the two, for example, back, back in the day, I, I compared to the Grizzly to the Super 73. Oh, by the way, here comes a cop. Hold on. Let me get my, uh, get my lights on for my helmet. Let's start pedaling. I need a mirror <laughs> i can't see him i need a mirror i did order one it's another mod we're gonna add to this bike okay so where was i so i was comparing the grizzly to the super 73 rx and the rx doesn't have the power but the rx just felt so much more comfortable and fun like 100 legit it was just it was night and day quality over speed like that's legit and i feel like it's the same thing like that so this bike is not anywhere close to the kepler speed i'll tell you that right now but it's fun to ride it's the parts are more quality built obviously there's no suspension but like the bike feels solid where i feel like the kepler just feels like really cheap made parts like i hate to say it but that's just how it is and i'm really a little disappointed on um getting the touch-up paint so uh the company said hey we're moving offices right now we're not going to be sending you the touch-up paint until uh, we can get to it because we're out of the office right now there's a lot of things going on and then i said um okay well please let me know when i can get that because i want to see how well that's going to fix the damage or i would like to uh exchange the bike for one that's not damaged and then i saw a bunch of your guys comments one other guy had the exact same problem with his zeus yeah guess, let's go this way because i got more to talk about so guess like what happened to his same exact corner and it has nothing to do with the shipping company i swear to god it's not the shipping company my boxes came perfectly fine not a single dent in them the zeus came damaged and the zeus is fine so um it has to do with them shipping them so the way they put the handlebars on the kepler they are um they're pushed against the frame so that's why you have those nicks over there so it kind of sucks they told me i can't get a replacement unless i paid for the shipping coverage which is like 55 bucks but the thing is the shipping coverage wasn't available or what i thought to my knowledge when i ordered it four months ago i legit checked i bought that bike in september 22 22 <laughs> that was four months ago or over four months ago i don't think they even had that on their website and if they did i totally apologize but i don't remember seeing it but they said since i didn't purchase that i can't get another bike replacement but I'm kind of upset like send me the paint and then maybe like give us like a slight discount like give us like a hundred bucks off I mean we waited some people waited like me four months some other people waited three months and two months come on like like help us out here you know and I always speak my mind a lot of people don't like it and um, I'm here to tell you that I'm very br brutally honest about everything like if I don't like something going down then hey like I don't like it um, I just tell it how it is. That's why I like it. If I like a bike, I like it. If I don't like it, I don't like it. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. Like, I know a lot of people are really, like, happy on channels and always, like, uppity and 
excited and honestly it brings an audience to your facebook page or instagram page or youtube page because you know you're bringing positivity all the time but sometimes you gotta be real and like you gotta say this stuff because if no one says it everyone's gonna be getting screwed or i don't know i just i want to explain my story the way i want to explain it and i believe that's why i have the followers like you guys that stick around and watch all these videos and listen to everything i have to say because it's real shit And yeah, maybe I shouldn't be like ungrateful because I did get my Onyx for like a thousand dollars and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I win some, lose some. But hey, like I spent my money on that bike. It came damaged. I wouldn't have cared if it was a uh, like a demo bike or something because I didn't pay for it. But I would still mention it in the video like I did with the Ride One Up bike. They did not like my review on that because I said how crappy the box came with there all the parts in it. Like I was pissed. Like it was all scratched all over the place. If I would have bought it, I would have been mad. But anyways, you guys are the true MVPs for sticking around. I talked about that a little bit too long. But I just want to let you guys know the situation. And if you're going to buy a aerial rider bike, especially a Kepler, make sure you uh, pay that extra $55 because your bike is probably going to come scratched. I'm just letting you guys know. It probably is going to be messed up. You guys see the lights on this bike? It's so cool. Ooh. But anyways, true MVPs. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of lights for a little bike.